welcome back everyone so today i will be talking about the windows repair tool that will be helping you to fix any kind of windows problem now these are called windows advanced startup options and i'm very sure during some kind of troubleshooting or during some kind of a screen you might have seen such kind of page such kind of blue screen that give you tons of different options so we will talk about these options that how you can get any kind of problem fixed by using these kind of tool so without any delay let's quickly get started and first we will see that how you can get into these options so there are three different method number one if you are on your desktop so what you can do you can make a right click on windows icon click on settings click on system from the left hand menu option then scroll down you will find the recovery option click on it and here you will find the advanced startup now here if you click on restart and click on restart now so you will be getting the please wait screen and the next it will give you that same blue screen with the advanced option and so from here you can click on troubleshoot you can go and click on advanced options and then you here you find all kind of troubleshooting features okay so this was the first option and now the second way to enter this startup option is from the login screen so many time it happened that you are stuck on the login screen you want to recover your password or you want to do any kind of troubleshooting so from the login screen also you can enter the advanced startup option so what you have to do from your keyboard you have to press and hold the shift key and then you have to click on the power icon that is on the right hand corner and while holding the shift key only you have to click on restart and click restart anyway and now you can leave the shift key so now again this time the computer will be coming up in the advanced option and you can see now that we again came to the same screen now the third method is sometime you get a blue screen on your computer like automatic repair loop so there only you get an option of advanced option so you can click on that screen to in order to troubleshoot the problem now in case if none of these methods work for you the final way to enter these options are forcefully shutting down the computer for the three time so what you can do your pc or your laptop you have to press and hold the power button until the computer gets shut down and once it gets shut down again press the power button to turn it on and as soon as you see the manufacturer or the windows logo again you have to press and hold the power button and forcefully shut it down now repeat this step for three time and after that you will be getting the same screen okay so now i believe that you know how to enter these options now let's see that what are the uses of these options so once you come up here you have to click on troubleshoot and now here the very first option that you get is the reset this pc option so in case if you want to reset your pc if you want to format it then you can click on it then it will give you two different options like keep my file and remove everything so let's say if you want to remove everything from your computer then you can go with the second option but if you want to keep your data but want to delete all kind of application and setting then you can go with the first option okay so this was the first option now finally you have to click on advanced option and here you find all kind of important tools that can be very useful for you in order to troubleshoot and fix many kind of problem now the very first option is the startup repair so if you want to repair your windows like it is stuck on loading it's giving you a blue screen so this is the first thing that you can try you can click on startup repair and see that what kind of help you get from here okay this is the first option now the next one that is very important that is the startup setting and once you click on it it gives you many different options like enable low resolution video mode, enable debugging mode, enable boot logging, safe mode, driver signature enforcement. Now these tools are required in order to fix many kind of blue screen problem like a startup repair failed or your PC ran into a problem, many other issues. Okay, so let's say that if you have any kind of blue screen problem, so what you can do, you can click on restart and now here again you can find all these options now what you can do you can enter the safe mode and if you feel that after installing any kind of application after installing any kind of software update you are having the problem 
then you can enter the safe mode and uninstall those application and fix the problem so in order to use the safe mode you have to press the number four key from your keyboard as you can see it says number four enable safe mode okay so this is a very useful feature that you can enjoy okay so we are done with the startup repair startup setting and now next we have the uninstall update now many time majority of the time you have many kind of problem because of installing the latest update so this is the best option what you can do you can come to this option click on uninstall update and here you will find two different option uninstall latest quality update and uninstall latest feature update now the quality update are related to the small update that is related to any kind of driver update like intel driver or any kind of audio or any other kind of driver that are small in size then next you have the latest feature update that are quite big and related to the security and to related to the bug okay so if you want to troubleshoot any kind of problem what you can do you can come to this option and first you can try uninstalling the latest quality update and see that if the problem get fixed now in case if this doesn't work then you can come to the latest feature update and you can go and try this option all right so these options can be really useful for you if you think that your latest update has created any kind of problem okay now let's go back and then you have the ufi firmware setting so this is another way to enter the bios so let's say if you have difficulties entering the bios then you can come to this option and when you click on ufi firmware setting it will directly take you to the bios okay then you have the system restore option so if you click on system restore and here it will display all kind of restore point that you have created now many time it comes a situation that where your computer is not working so what you can do you can choose any date when the computer was working fine and then you can restore your computer to that particular date so this is another way to fix any kind of problem in case if nothing is working then you have the command prompt now this is the most important feature that you get in order to troubleshoot fix many kind of problem but a part of that you can see there is one more option that says see more recovery option and if you click on it it says system image recovery and it rarely work for the people so i won't go in brief about this system image recovery so let's go back and click on command prompt now once you come to the command prompt you can do many kind of troubleshooting like you can run many kind of a scan the first one is sfc space forward slash scan now and once you hit the enter key this will be scanning all kind of system file looking for any kind of integrity violation and many time it help you to fix many kind of blue screen and many kind of windows operating system and you can see it says windows resource protection found cut file and successfully repaired them so there are tons of things that can be repaired with the this single command now the next command is chk dsk f and chk dsk forward slash r now these command scan your windows file system ntfs on windows xp or later to pinpoint data error on your drive and even it try to fix them okay so you can run a scan like chk dsk space for a slash f and then if you hit the enter key so it will let you know that what kind of error is there similarly there is another command that you can run i will leave all these command in the description so that you can manually try them and see that what kind of result it gives to you now part of this what else you can do if you type here reg edit then you can open the registry editor from here only if you want to make any kind of changes if you want to do any kind of editing from the registry then you, you can do it from here only now these registry editor can be really useful for you if you want to bypass windows 11 installation without using the tpm secure boot and 4 gigabyte ram then you can create some entries here and you can easily bypass the tpm and the secure boot check now part of that what else you can do once you open the registry editor click on file then click on then click on export and now here you will find your file explorer so in case if you are not able to enter your computer you are stuck on a blue screen and you are not able to come on to your computer 
So from here, you can access all kind of your drive. So let's say if you have any kind of data in your boot X in this drive, then you can open it. Uh, you can copy the data and transfer to any other kind of flash drive or any other kind of USB drive. So there are tons of things that you can do using this command prompt. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you will find all these Windows repair tool helpful. And if yes, let me know in the comment section which one you like the most. And do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.